It's a well-known truth that our society is at the mercy of those who can manipulate the legal system. I've always felt that there were things that we could do to surmount that obstacle caused by learned corruption. It would require those who can understand the legal system to intervene in cases where there is injustice by the practice of law. This requires good magistrate um, discretion. I take issue with the case of um, Mackenzie Shirilla. I watched her being sentenced to 15 years to life imprisonment for a catastrophic car accident in which two young men were killed. I don't see any sociology at work. I don't think that there was any particular reason to sentence her out of preference for race or um, nor do I think the judge necessarily was held bent on being a strong arm from her position. When instead I believe was that there was a terrible oversight, a difficult uh, case because two people died and apparently there was psilocybin mushrooms at the scene of the, of the crash. Journalistic doctrine said it was near her. If they could have, they would have said it was in her pocket and in her mouth. The truth is clear. The two victims contributed to the circumstances of the crash. They almost certainly knew and in the past had almost certainly induced her. As a victim of terrible torture and trafficking that has implicated the Ohio State Police, I have looked into the fact that Ohio has a terrifying human trafficking problem. And it's exonerated by the way this young woman was treated. She was 17 years old and with the likelihood of past use of psilocybin at the instigation of the victims, which means they contributed to the circumstances surrounding the crash. She went into a regression where she was younger than her body due to the chemical ingestion that the victims co-induced in all likelihood. And she behaved like a child because she was, at that point, legally a child. She engaged in an impulsive escape behavior, like a temper tantrum. Her natural faculties had been surmounted. I live in a state where the moral superiors of the UW dialectical tribe, they called themselves, gun the gas pedals specifically and intentionally to exonerate people because they take suicide. They move to legalize marijuana, move to legalize hallucinogens, and start calling them medical. And they get backing from medical authorities. What are they saying? That these drugs make you more mature rather than less mature? The Ohio State Police saw me in a state of absolute trauma and coma in the back seat of a car with three bona fide mans and family types curled up in a corner and they took the names and addresses of every single person in that car and pretended like they didn't see me well i'm telling you people see what ohio's correctional facility pulled with mckenzie okay we all realize that she was absolutely mortified in, by what happened. She was at the mercy of forces that were imposed on her, almost certainly with the complicity of the victims. They themselves bear some serious responsibility 
for that terrifying crash and accident that I refuse to watch because I'm too soft-hearted to endure it. Somebody might say I see myself in her. Who the hell doesn't? We live in a society where the entertainment industry is pummel us with the normalizations of these exotic, far out, and stupid chemicals. I sympathize not just with her, but with the terrible dereliction that I saw in the court. So before you go around saying, I see myself in her and just as guilty as her, I think you should say instead, I see myself in her because I have been just as wrongfully served by a machine mentality in justice department that willfully overlooks. I do not believe for a minute that the magistrate didn't realize that this woman was legally a child because of some prior intoxication that had affected her brain. I don't believe it for a minute. They, the psychiatrist from Attica State Prison put a neuroplasm implant in me when I was 14 years old to make me so incomprehending and easily manipulative that they called me plastic. So if I identify with anything in the case, it's the victimization by corruption. They have tried. Now, this girl was legally, they say, responsible for the virtual murder of two people who were in the car with her. There was an element of suicide about the way they were intoxicating the driver of a car and who was freaking and probably freaking her out while she was, while she, I don't know what happened. I don't have ESP. I can't see into it. But the evidence was clear. And the magistrate could only have willfully overlooked that evidence. Could only have willfully overlooked that evidence. This case smacks of a precedent case to challenge the idea that the Justice Department has to see things as they are. The Justice Department can just arbitrarily say anything they want about anything, and that goes. What they say goes. The discretion was lacking. The judgment was lacking. The force of compo compelling her to do the homework of the evidence that was presented, if the lawyer was incompetent, that's sad. If Mackenzie was too loyal to her friends, to say what happened, that's sad. If her mother didn't know a good psychologist, that's sad. But the magistrate had an obligation to perceive the information that was available and judge accordingly.